So my name is Valentine, and my Global Issues project was to design a photovoltaic system. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to what that means in a bit. Um, so originally my idea was to design a of <coughs> campus. Um, that was a bit too ambitious. Um, so in speaking with Red and Maggie, I narrowed it down to making a photovoltaic system for the sprinklers in the garden. Um, so photovoltaic system is a um, is using solar power to create energy. Um, it works because there are some materials that have the, a that have a photoelectric effect, which means that when they get hit by photons of light, they release electrons, and that the release of electrons can be used to create energy. So, um, I my first step was to uh, find a mentor to help me design one. Um, I had a mentor for robotics who's an electrical engineer from MIT. And I contacted him and he said he'd be willing to help me design it. Um, the next step was to actually figure out how to go about designing it and what information I needed. Um, Rod, my mentor, had sent me questions and I talked to Rhett and Maggie about um, them and I got answers for most of them. Um, I. Originally, I was also going to design one for the well pump. The reason I decided to try and design one for the well pump and the sprinklers um, is the well pump in um, particular, if energy to, were to go out, um, the well pump would no longer work, and we would only have enough water for or that was stored in the tank, which is what I, um, I was told about three days. And same for the sprinklers. The um, sprinklers would need to be, um, would not work, and water would, the garden would need to, would need to be watered by hand. Um, oh God. So those were the um, two things that Red, when I spoke with Red, um, were really on his mind, and I uh, adopted those. Um, and that's about as far as I got to this point, because I'm missing some key information um, about the sprinkler uh, system. Um, I need to figure out the um, and this is the part that always took me up, the difference between power and energy. Um, power is a dominant, energy is... Um, the energy <laughs> that the unit draws, energy is power over time. So, um, like, how much energy, it will, power it will draw over a specific <coughs> point of time, so I can figure out, like, how much p power the unit will cry for a year, and then be able to design or figure out what kind of solar panel would be needed to power it for a set amount of time. Yeah. Um, so there are two ways I could go about doing that. Um, I could use an, a device to um, measure current, or if it's on a uh, separate meter, which I'm not sure I need to ask Red about it, um, I can read the meter for a couple days and figure out via that. Um, and once I get those bits of information, I can actually start designing the system with the help of, of Rod. Too many three-letter R names. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the last step would be to actually implement this, um, which would involve um, a making sure that my system won't blow up. And um, <laughs> making sure that we're getting a photovoltaic panel. Um, Red said that there's a small panel that I could use on campus, but I'm not sure that will produce enough power, so I'm looking into, once I figure out what kind of panel I need, I'll look into like where to procure one and how much it will cost. Um, so that's my global issues project. <laughs>